Hey guys, so we're back. Now let's actually get into this moonshot tutorial, right? It's the a very introduction, right? We started with the quick start and then eventually it said, hey, you know, download a couple code samples and here was the moonshot intro. It downloaded to our code load directory, which is over here, our intro moonshot. I come into intro moonshot and now I'm in introduction, right? So here's the setup and it breaks it into parts, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna actually click on this, this hyperlink. It opens me up to the next page. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is collect data, right? We don't have any data in Quant Rocket at all at this point, right? We don't have it hidden in our volumes, again, unless you've ran something. So let's do something. So if we wanna collect end of the day sample data, Quant Rocket provides that, right? So here's the historical database and it wants us to create a US stock database. And here's a couple parameters. On any of these guys, you'll notice that you kind of get this highlighting of blue under, the, under all these methods, classes, whatever the case is. Click Control if you want to get to documentation. This are the, is the cool part. Because then you can see like, what are those parameters? What am I actually typing in, right? So it says like code, the code to assign to the database. Okay, that's like the, what I'm gonna name it. What's the bar size for this? particular one it's one day actually you can collect real-time data and stream on the fly and again that'll be a tutorial down the road but it's really cool and then do we want to limit it to sample free data for this tutorial yes right because we have just set up a very base free quant rocket account no problem I just want free data and then the universe uh, it says that it's deprecated no problem used to be there not there anymore and what it's going to return is a dictionary and all these other things. And it gives you an example at the bottom, like how do you actually run it? Like, okay, US stock one day. That's what we're gonna do here. So on any of these methods, you can do that anywhere, like this guy. So it says successfully created Quant Rocket US stock one day. And you can see over here in the background, stuff is happening. This is the detailed flight log. I didn't wanna get bogged down with that. This is the less uh, verbose uh, flight log. When pretty important things happen, it will show up here. To actually start collecting data, right? So the first step was like, hey, let's name some stuff, just create this database for me in the background. And these databases, the cool part is you don't have to go into them. Cool in the background that Quant Rocket is storing, so you don't have to go connect to it or like create it or whatever the case is. This is going to simply create the database. So now it's there. You kind of think of it as like your schema is there, your template is there. And now let's actually collect the history. So now when I collect history, you actually see some stuff happening here. It says info, US stock free one day, collecting free history from 2007 to present. And here's all this stuff that it's collecting. Um, so now it said, it was pretty darn quick because this is free data, right? It's not massive. Collected 203 monthly files in US stock um, one day in the SQLite database. Cool, so now I have data, right? 